What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here. A little bit of a curious video. I don't even know why I'm making this, but I've always been fascinated with uh, bugs, bypasses, and the like. So, in case you guys didn't know, uh, Apple is being court ordered to help the FBI unlock an iPhone. And it's not so much that they have to unlock the phone themselves. They just have to give the FBI the means to do so by removing the passcode limit. So as we all know, there's a 10 passcode limit after that, if you enter it incorrectly 10 times, your device pretty much goes into a lockdown and it erases everything. And as we all know, if you guys have been following the news, the reason the FBI needs to do this is to get the information, the latest information from the phone belonging to the shooters down in California. And it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword here. At the same time, this could help them with the case against uh, these shooters. Uh, also, Apple could lose the war on private security for consumer devices, and that's a war they've been fighting. I mean, we should be proud of Apple that they are going against the grain here, even when the government is telling them they're going against them and they don't want to comply. I mean, Tim Cook released a statement today. I'll link it down below. You should, you guys should really read that. I mean, this is important. We're living in the very last days where software, not every software released, has a backdoor allowing security access in times like these. You know, the government can't even unlock the phone itself and it has to go to Apple for them to help the FBI. I think that's, you know, truly incredible. So with this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and I'll show you brute forcing. So basically the FBI wants Apple to help them brute force the phone. They want them to remove the limit and for them to be able to use hardware uh, to go ahead and brute force. Pretty much brute forcing means going through every single passcode attempt and uh, unlocking the phone just by you know exhausting all passcode attempts. And uh, in the past with iOS 7, iOS 8, there have been little machines you could hook up, you know, unplug your device, hook it up, and it will literally go through every passcode without your phone locking itself. And I just wanted to show you something I found in uh, the latest version of iOS 9. I'll go ahead and show you that. And uh, pretty much I found a way to get limited passcode attempts while at the lock screen, whether the phone just restarted or uh, whether you just picked it up. You don't need Touch ID. In case you didn't know, the phone that the FBI has is an iPhone 5C, so it doesn't have Touch ID. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. I won't show you from the very beginning, just in the middle of it, because I don't want you guys to know how to do this. I don't want anyone else to know how to do this. And uh, there are some drawbacks. I'll get to that in a second. So uh, let me go ahead and do this. All right, so here we go. Uh, so this is a glitch working on the latest version of iOS 9. Pretty much, it's a graphical interface glitch. And as we know, with uh, lock screen bypasses in the past, they've always started with Siri, with uh, you know just random bugs in the system. And uh, in this case, this is no different. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you five attempts is what it takes in iOS 9 to go ahead and lock the device. So here's four, and I do have to hold on to the display while I do this. So five, phone is disabled, but hey, we're not out yet. So well, right here, if we go ahead and flip this up, you gotta hang on to the control center or notification center up here. Now you have unlimited passcode attempts. So you can go ahead and go through every single combination and attempt to unlock the phone in that manner. Unfortunately, there is a drawback to this. So you can only access this state where you can put in any passcode you want while the phone is disabled. Right now, I'm on a one minute disabled timer. So I'd have to get the phone into 15, 30 minutes in order to get a good crack at this, you know? Uh, so that means potentially putting the phone at risk for deleting the data. Uh, it's a very close shave here, but it is possible to brute force into a phone, especially on the latest version of iOS 9. And I will show you guys ahead uh, after that I am running this latest firmware. Again, I didn't switch devices or anything. It's just, it's just crazy, really, in this day and age that I found this and it's still possible to do this. So. As you can see, uh, it just went away and I can go ahead and log into my phone with no repercussions right here. So if I actually jump into settings, boom, right there, 9.2.1. Now, hey, uh, here's a phone that was freshly restarted. So you cannot access the control center, you cannot access notification center, still possible. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and put in, again, wrong passcode attempts and boom. So I can go ahead and input as many as you want right there until their phone is ready to go. And as you can see, 15 minutes gives you 15 minutes of attempts. And uh, you know, I'm no professional at this. This is just a little bug that I found. I don't know how far this goes, but I found it, thought it was really interesting that brute forcing itself is possible even without the help of Apple. But 
Man, so I just wanted you guys to know, you know, we're living in a day and age where uh, our personal security is at risk, you know, for the greater good. But Tim Cook is fighting a good fight. I think you guys should definitely read the article down below. It's quite interesting. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Just something a little bit different. Peace.